Hello everybody, welcome to one of my videos. My name is Jamie from Morgan's Games. Today we're doing an unboxing video. This is actually my third unboxing in one day. This is on Amiga this time. This is Black Dawn Rebirth by Double Sided Games. Now unfortunately, due to financial difficulties, I wasn't able to do a pre-order the first time round. So I missed out, but luckily there was a lifeline on the 13th of January 2020, Black Dawn Rebirth received a second batch run, which I believe was down to a limited of 50 boxed versions. A few of my subscribers messaged me saying, Jamie, you've got to hurry up, you've got to buy it this time, and I did. Even though money situation wasn't much better at the time, I bought it anyway. I love the box art to it, and even though it's not my usual sort of genre, it's a sci-fi RPG dungeon crawler, I bought it. And also, I did watch Doug's video on a 10 minute Amiga retro cast, and I was very impressed with it, so I bought it. Now the only other purchase I've bought from Double Sided Games is La Bay de Mort, which is a superb game on the C64. And I'm going to be buying a lot more in the future, and I cannot fault these boxes. They're absolutely superb quality, and so is the servers I've received. Once again, they're very, very communicative, which is just what you want when you're buying from overseas. But anyway, Jamie, there's enough chit chat. Let's open up this one. Black Dawn Rebirth by Double Sided Games, superb artwork and a superb quality box. The TFS Senator is en route to base DS97 to investigate a communications blackout. Ensign Bren is dispatched to investigate the base. Bren takes his scout ship into orbit around the planet. A routine mission, planetfall, is uneventful. From the outside, the base seems operational and undamaged, yet something does not feel right. Bren dons his life support system and depressurizes the cockpit. The canopy whirls open, revealing a thin and clear atmosphere. The entrance yields to the ensign's authorization code. As he descends into the lower level, a bad feeling creeps upon him. Unfortunately, I had to move because there was too much glare for my streaming lights. Now, this is a very, very heavy box. Very heavy indeed. Okay. Okay, I have six discs. We have the intro disc. We have the boot install disc one, and then two, three, four, and five. There we go. Okay, we have the maps booklet. Now, the first level would have actually done for you, which is level one, one. S, the letter represents the starting point in every level. After that, it's blank. So if you want to draw on it, you can do so. I probably won't do that. But there's actually 21 levels in total. And there's the last one, level seven, four. Okay, we have the user manual. So I'm going to need very, very soon. We have the story and how to launch the game. How to play the game. And weapons, enemies, and credits. There we go. Look at those bad guys. Now the only other RPG game I've played on Amiga is Eye of the Beholder. And I've only played it once. So it's gonna be interesting. But anyway, let's fire it up. I can't hear anything because once again my headphones are not plugged in. I'm guessing there probably is music here, but I can't hear it. Double sided games. Presents. A game by. ZSoft7 Productions. In association with Rasta Wizards. Star date 2621. The TFS Senator is en route to base. I can't believe it! I've got a dodgy disc. I can't believe it. 
Oh, don't believe it. Oh, I don't work, man. Right. The intro disc doesn't work. So that's a bit of a nuisance. Okay, so the intro disc didn't work. So we're going to go for the install boot disc. Black Dawn Rebirth. So far, so good. But that... Oh, it's not even shot. There we go. Black Dawn Rebirth. Now, this one is working, but unfortunately, my intro disc did not work. Which is a bit of a shame. But there we go. Right, it's a mouse game. Now, I have to admit, I'm not super at these sort of games. I've not played many of them in my life. Let's look at the options. We have new, we have quit, we have continue, and new plus. We'll go for new, shall we? I'm assuming this is probably giving me keyboard as well. But then, Jamie, you do have the manual, if you're not sure. How cool does this sound? In the year 2020, I'm playing a brand new Amiga game. Not only is it a brand new Amiga game, but it's also loading off a disc. I mean, how cool does that sound? Okay, this is the game. This is Black Dawn Rebirth. I'm playing this for the absolute first time. I'm not great at these sort of games. I've not played many of these games, but I thought, why not? Now, you can use the mouse to control your character, or you can use the keyboard. Now, you use Q, W, and E, and A, S, and D to move forward and turn, that sort of thing. So, we're going to go for keys with the left hand and mouse with the right. So, you click on the door to open the door. Now, at the moment, we have absolutely no items whatsoever. To enter your inventory, you press the right mouse button. Okay, this is our inventory screen. Up here is your add-ons. Here is your messages. This is your cryptid items, which at the moment we don't have anything. This is your left hand. This is your right hand. This is your movement. And these are your bars. This is a health bar, stamina bar, and energy bar. This is your mini map. And this is your options. This here is your inventory, which at the moment all we have is a health pack. We don't have anything else. If you want to find out a little bit more about your character, click on the arrow. And our character is called Captain Bren Whitaker. He's level 1, armor is 0, stamina 30 out of 30, health is 30 out of 30, experience is a big fat 0. So, there's not a lot we can do right now apart from walk around. And we can't attack if we don't have any weapons to attack with. Now, you can either control your character with these arrows by using the mouse, or you can use keys, which is Q, W, E, A, S, and D. I'm going to be doing that. Now, the setup I have in here is not fantastic, so this will be quite difficult for me. But I'm going to use the keys with my left hand and the mouse with my right. But at the moment, we don't have any weapons. Now, we go to the computer, and you click on the screen to read what it says. Welcome to the Black Dawn Station. Please enjoy your visit. Well, that's probably not going to happen. It's probably not going to be a nice place to visit. At the moment, it's fairly safe, but it won't last. It never does, though, does it? So, we need to move around. Now, your health bar and your energy bar, I don't know which one kills you, probably both of them. So, if only one of those goes down, you're going to die. Now, games like this, I haven't played many of them, but my problems with these sort of games is I get lost. I always do get lost. Everywhere looks quite the same. However, everywhere does look absolutely superb. The graphics is amazing, so I've really, really done well with this game. Now, this map down here is not actually available to you. Right, these add-ons here. You will find add-ons throughout the game to help you map out the levels that can be made aware of and the location of the enemies. Add-ons can be switched on and off using the buttons above the slots. Right, another computer. Crewman Jones, thank you for the report. However, could you specify on what exactly you mean by an unholy scream? Now, on the wall over here, we do have these. Now, I'm not 100% what they do, but I'm guessing it's something to do with your radar, your map, which at the moment is not available to you, but I'll read about that later on today. Okay, your hands. Use these slots to equip weapons by dragging a weapon icon onto them. You can fight enemies by clicking on the icons in the hand slots, which is here and here. One for each hand. Now, we have these. I'm not sure what they are, but they block your path. There's actually four of them here, so we can't progress through there. But there is another one of these radars, so I'm guessing we come back here later on. But I don't actually know what you're supposed to do with them. I have no idea. Okay, the messages display, which is here, displays the status of combat or description of the picked up object. Okay, at the moment, I'm already lost. Now, if you want to go through a door, you click on the door. And we go through. Right. Turn. I mean, the game is really, really good. It's going to take some getting used to, I have to admit. Now, sometimes you do find lockers. Now, lockers is where you find items. 
Right, we have our movement. These buttons are used to move around the game, and you can also use Q, W, E, A, S, and D keys for the same purpose. Right, another screen. Base wire comms are down for the time being. There is no reason to panic, so please go ahead about your business. I shall indeed. Okay. Now, some of these doors are locked, which require keys or cards, whatever the case may be. Probably more likely to be cards. Now, over the course of the level, you will see a lot of these. Now, I don't know what their purpose is, but they do appear on the map, but they don't seem to do anything. Never mind. Right, so we progress on and we have these laser beams. Now, I wouldn't go through that. They're probably going to cut you up like a cheese grater. Now, all you have to do here is click on it, and that deactivates it, which allows us to press through. Okay, we have our first locker. So we click on the locker. What do we have in store? We have some first aid kits. Nice. And it also tells you on the display what it is. It's a first aid kit. So, we still don't have any weapons, though. Now, this is going to take some getting used to. I'm not used to using keyboard and mouse at the same time. Now, in this game, even though we don't have any weapons at the moment, you can get melee weapons. The short sword, the broad sword, the barbed sword, the gut punch, the cleaver, the mangler, and the blunt force. And you also get ranged weapons, which is the pew pew, the RC-10, the RC-11 auto, the shotgun, the RC-40, the mega blaster, and the BFG, which does appear in quite a few other games. Including Doom. Okay, so we've got to retrace our steps. But at the moment, we can't use that map. Which is a bit of a nuisance. Because I really would need that right now. Okay, we have a beam of energy. Now, this one, you can't go under it. I mean, a normal person would probably just go under that very, very easily. But not here. I'm assuming your character cannot crouch. So, we've got to try and deactivate this some other way. So, until that happens, we ain't going anywhere. So, we've got to try and find a button. Or maybe even a card. Or a key. Or something. Or possibly a computer. To try and deactivate the laser. Okay, we've got to try and find a weapon, and we've got to try and find one now. Now, over here, we have a locker. We open a locker, and what do we get? We have a short sword. So we're going to equip that straight away. Put it in our right hand. It tells you on there, it is a short sword. So, we're armed and dangerous. We don't have a, a gun, but we do have a sword. So, it's better than nothing. So, open the door. Right, we're getting attacked. Now, to attack with your sword, you click on the image. And, of course, these sort of games, you're going to get a delay until you can use it again. Now, it's going to be after we, I'm going to have to retreat here. A treat and then attack. So, it's sword versus gun. I don't like these odds. Now, his weapon is going to take a lot more damage than mine does. Mine takes five damage. Attack for five damage. No, he's not shooting at me. For some reason, he's not. Uh, so, yeah, I managed to kill him there. Now, my energy has taken a little bit of a hit, but my stamina has also dropped because I was running for my life there. Now, your stamina will refill itself. Energy will replenish when you use health packs. Okay, on we go. Not professionally done. We open another locker. We have more health packs. Now, I can use one now, but I'll save it for the times ahead. The difficult times ahead, because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of them in the future. Okay, the button up there. Click the button. That will deactivate that beam. What we've got to do now is find that beam. Okay. Right, I'm getting a little bit lost here, but I am finding things I require. Right, we found a Sector A card. So we're going to use that to get to Sector A. Right, press the right mouse button, and now we've got to try and find that door that it opens. Now, the game is good. I do like it. However, I've only played Eye of the Beholder. I haven't played any other ones on the Amiga. But it just takes some getting used to. It's very, very easy to get lost in this place. Because everything looks the same. But, take nothing away from the way it looks. It does look absolutely tremendous. No in-game music, unfortunately. And not a lot of sound effects either. Which is a little bit of a shame. But, I'm getting there. All we're going to do now is find that door. Okay, another door. Right, Sector A. Fantastic. Okay, so we click the... Click on the card, go to Use, and that should have done it. There we go, door is open. Fantastic. On we go. But unfortunately, we still only have a sword, not a gun. So, on we go. More of those 
posters on the walls. We don't know what their purpose is. Now, for a first level, not a lot of enemies. Which is probably a good thing. I'm not really prepared for lots and lots of enemies. Right, another sector A. I can't get in there. So I've got to try and find another card. Now, it's one of those games. You can go round and round and round in circles and end up back where you started quite quickly. Okay, computer. Step inside. Okay, I'm assuming that's some kind of teleport. Why not? A little bit of teleportation is in order here. Right, now where am I? Locker. Open the locker. Right, we have another car. Superb. Sector A key. Right, okay. So, we know where the door is. There's another computer. Let's check it out. Jesus, what's going on? My husband returned from work, bashing it on the door, screaming, what happened around here? I've called security. Okay, where's that sector A? Sector A, fantastic. Okay, so right click, we select the card, go to use, it uses it immediately. Now I've got a funny feeling there's going to be enemies around here somewhere, yes. Right, back off, Jamie, back, back, back off. Now he can only, he can attack at long range, I can only attack at short range. There we go, he destroyed, he burst into a puff of smoke and flames. Okay, um... It'd be so much easier if we had a machine gun or a shotgun or something like that. There's another door. So, yeah, we'll go in. Health is not bad. However, my stamina is okay. I'm not 100% sure what the difference is between energy and health. It's pretty much the same thing. It would be in other games. Locker. We have another card. Superb. There's more cards here than Clinton's. On we go. Um... Right, the door is nearby. I saw it. It's not too far away either. Um, don't get lost, Jamie. I am lost. I've been here once already. I don't need to go here again. Go back in. Luckily, there's no time limit here. That'd be incredibly mean of a game like this. Right, sector A. Where's sector B? I need sector B. Sector B, there we go. I was standing right next to it. Okay, we just happen to have the card here. We use it immediately. Sector B key has been used. Right, I need I need a, be a better weapon than a short range sword. The further you get the progress into this game, there's going to be a lot more enemies. Push ahead. I shall indeed. Have you got a gun, though? Right, so we push it. Push it, we push it, we push it. Right, it's a button. Superb. Press the button. This game reminds me of Aliens. This is a classic. Right, what did that do? Wherever it did, I hope it's nearby. Locker? Oh, we got a shield. Fantastic. Right, armor boost. Armor boost and a short range sword, but no gun. Not one of these. I don't know what they do, though. Not a lot. Right, I'm going to use a health pack just in case, because I've got a funny feeling something's going to attack me near, near nearby here. Right, health is maxed out. Fantastic. Got four left. Right, another button. Click that. That's done something. Question is, what did it do? And is it guarded? More than likely. What have we got now? Another card! Okay. There we go. That's not too shabby now, is it? Pick it up, go down the corridor, and it's there. Use. Door is open. Right, health is good. We have a shield and a short range sword. And something's... Whoa, okay. Okay, get attacked by this guy. Now, I'm not brilliant at combat. Not in this sort of game. No, I'm not. But, you know, if you stand in one place, you're going to be an easy target, aren't you? So a little bit of retreating, backtracking, and an attack. But I'm getting my keys in a bit of a twist here. Where's he gone? Right, hit for three damage. 
There we go, he's dead meat. Unfortunately, he can't pick up his gun. Or his shield. Right, another one of these. What do they do? It doesn't say anything in the manual about it. Okay. Uh, computer. Medical Bay reports a viral infection being reported on the lower levels. This is, however, no reason to panic. I beg to differ. We have every right to panic. I have every right to panic. I don't have a gun. But the enemies do have guns. Right, what's... Okay. Have I been here? I don't know. I need that map operational. But it's not available yet. Because I don't have the required quantities of things I need to get it to work. Right. Right, locker. Yes! We've got a pistol! Yes! We've got a... We've got a pew-pew! Right, so we have a short-range sword and a pew-pew. So how much damage does this do? Does it tell you? Five damage. So now we can do a double whammy. We can attack with a sword and then shoot. Sword, shoot. We can do it like that. But unfortunately, we can't have a shield at the same time. And also, we don't have any armour. Right, okay, now we mean business. Right. Do not underestimate me. I have a gun and a sword. And I'm not afraid to use it. So, where was I going? Okay, I got another one of these. So down here should be a button of some kind. There we go. There we go. Shall we go? Where are we going to go? Now, I don't agree with this map. This area seems a lot bigger than this map. But in saying that, I'm not using the map at the moment. It's just too complicated. So, there's a teleporter on my left, and, right, hang on a minute, let's go down here, what's down here, whoa, we've got a person, we've got a person, right, I've got a gun, so, lock and load it, we have 60 bullets, so when you're reloading your gun, use your sword, of course, you can miss, you shouldn't miss at, low, at that short range, Shouldn't miss at close range. Uh, wrong button. Is he behind me? Turn around, Jamie. Turn around. The gun will... There we go. There we go. Have some of that. You dead meat. Attack for four damage. Look at my energy. How am I still alive? Oh, my lord. Press that button and use it immediately. Now over here, we also have a few settings. Now you have the 3D setting, which actually changes the way the screen moves. And you also have a change of HUD color. You go for purple or pink, green or blue. And also you can adjust the brightness. But I think the brightness is okay. And if you so wish, you can use the save or load option. Right, energy is good. Energy is maxed out. Now bullets are limited. Alright. Oh, we got a door. Open the door. Another person. Great artwork. Right, I'm stuck in a corner. The trouble is, I'm, I'm stuck down a place that has no exit, so I won't go in anywhere. Right, what's this thing? Push it. Right, we pushed it and it disappears. Lock up. What we got? What is that? Is that armor? Chest armor. Fantastic. Put it on, mate. Put it on. There we go. We have armor. We have a gun and a sword and a shield. Can we use it? Armor boost. No. no. Never mind. We'll go with that. Uh, okay. Energy is okay. Now, the trouble is, when I do a video like this, the question is, how much footage do you include? Another computer. Fill a gap. I think I just did that. Black Dawn Rebirth is an RPG dungeon crawler set in the futuristic science fiction horror theme and the seventh episode in the Black Dawn series. 
Let Dawn Reaper brings the popular Amiga Dungeon Crawler RPG series into the 21st century. It is both the ideal entry point into the Black Dawn universe for the new generation of players and the opportunity for fans of the series to continue their adventure. It has better graphics and sound than ever before and includes more levels, more monsters, more puzzles than any other Black Dawn game. Are you ready for the challenge? I am ready for the challenge. I'm going for it. However, I can't get very far. Whoa! Okay! Attack! Ooh! Right, move, move, move. Run away. Turn. And shoot. Run away. Is there two? There's two, I think. Backtrack. Turn. Oh, I went for the teleport. Oh, gone through it again. I did a fool would go through a teleport. Straight into danger. I think it's just one actually. Right, I've got 43 bullets. The trouble is, he's got a shield, but there we go. Energy is not great. It's really, really not great. So, any rewards around here? There's got to be off that. Bullets! Brilliant! Okay, how many per. Uh, does it say? Ammo. We'll find out soon enough. Okay. Now, I'm assuming the Pew Pew is probably the weakest of the ranged weapons. Now, we'll probably be very, very far off getting the Mega Blaster and the BFG. But we must get something. Something that takes more hits. Something that makes more damage. To be honest with you, I think the sword makes more damage than the, than the, the Pew Pew. Ah! Oh, where'd you come from? Right, hold on, hold on. Energy, use, use. My lord, I wasn't expecting that. However, it doesn't have a shield. Neither do I. Shoot! Quickly, shoot! Gun's not working. One damage. Trouble is, if you miss, you've got to wait for him to reload. And that can be quite time consuming, especially if you're taking shots from a guy with a machine gun or a shotgun. My lord, where did he come from? Right, okay. Right, how are we doing for experience? So, let's click on this. Right, our experience is going up, but it is very, very slow. Stamina is 23 out of 35, health is 33 out of 40, so our health is going up, and so is our stamina. So the more kills we get, the more is increasing his experience. Right. The trouble is, I've said it earlier on today, is everywhere looks the same, so it's very, very easy to get lost. And when you find something like this, you find a locker that's got items in it, that's telling you you haven't been there. So we use that to our advantage. Um, and I really should be drawing this, but I don't have an. Oh, okay. Right, we need a key. Yeah, I really should be drawing this down, but I'll be here all day. Right, door. Any people in here? This map is definitely bigger than it says in the book. Jack, it's Dr. Jones. Ha! <laughs> that was an 80s song. Various members of the security forces have exhibited symptoms similar to rabies, which is impossible to avoid them at all times, my friend. Rabies. Okay. Right, we have a security card. Security card, sector C key. Superb. Finding the key is one thing. Finding the door it goes to is completely another. Um, around here somewhere. <laughs> but where? That's the question. That's the question. What's the answer? The blink of an eye is back where you started. Or worse, be back at the start. Well, I've been here. It's empty. Oh. Break the glass. Oh. Shoot. 34 bullets. Taking damage. Never been good at the combat in these sort of games. There we go, dead. Alright, uh, where we go? What we got here? Whoa! 
We've got another card. Okay, we've got Sector B and Sector C. So there's two doors we've got to find now. Aha, Sector B, that'll do. Um, we just happen to have the card here. Sector B, use... Let me go through. And there we go, there is Sector C. We just happen to have that as well. How long is this level? It's a very, very long level. Exit! There we go! I was just talking about that. How spooky was that? There we go! We've done the first level! My lord, that took ages. That's going to require a lot of editing down. Oh, I don't believe it. Okay. <laughs> right, I've got a dodgy disc. Unfortunately, we've got another read-write error on this disc. So not only is the intro disc at fault, but also this disc is at fault. And I don't think it's going to go any further. Yeah. And it kicks you out of the game. Right, okay. Um... Okay, everyone, that's it in my video. That is Black Door Rebirth. It would have been longer, but unfortunately, two of my discs are faulty. So I've got contacts, double-sided games, so you can sort it out for me. But anyway, this is Jamie from Wizards Games. Hope you enjoyed it anyway. Please like, please can't be shared. Please subscribe to my channel, Facebook fan page, Instagram, or some Twitch. Just type in Wizards Games, you find it fairly easily. And please remember to click on the bell icon that will notify you videos of low fans. So we'll do these sort of videos. I do retro long plays at Chicks, how I've been making, and live stream in Friday night. You can get time at 8 o'clock. Not my week. Till next time, take it easy. Ciao, bye. See ya. Do you know what? Another thing I've got to do during lockdown is clean this mouse. This mouse is in serious need of a clean. These are items we have in our intervention. long. So we have an image. Okay, we have an image on there. Now this mouse is terrible, Jamie. You've got to clean your mouse. So we go back. This is your options. This is your equipped inventory. No, it's not. Okay, now on the wall, we do have these. Now, 100% sure. So there we go. This is how we use, drop, change our HUD colors, and change the...